Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Elden Ring, I'm going through my uh, Sadu run, and here I thought I would collect some bosses. Uh, notably, before this boss, I uh, went through all of Selen's storyline, so that's why I can use this uh, spiral uh, dart here. It's very strong, actually. <laughs> It's like uh, two darts, you know, that are uh, kind of winding around each other. But what happens is that, like, it kind of also has a lot of uh, vertical movement. And so, like, a larger boss or a thicker boss, it will hit them multiple times. So we can see that uh, this boss is getting hit multiple times as we uh, fire these spiral shots. So yeah, I'm really liking this spell. <laughs> and then this is the uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel keeping us out of uh, Lanedale. Uh, but I'm not going to go into Lanedale quite yet. I'm going to go through the underground. I'm going to uh, advance uh, Ronnie's storyline. And then uh, the summon that I'm using here are the uh, the Great Shield wearers. They're uh, lasting a long time here. <laughs> I haven't gotten any of the tanky like single uh, summons yet. But in the meantime, I'll use uh, these guys. And then I'm using the Glintstone Academy Staff, I think it is, in my right hand. I got that off of uh, Tops. He's kind of the uh, kind of the failed magician, but I gave him an extra key. And then uh, he went into the uh, Academy, or tried to. We found him dead, like, just outside of it. And we took his staff. <laughs> And then in my left hand, I have the, uh, the Meteorite Staff. That's an interesting one, because you can't upgrade it like all of the other staffs in the game. But I have that in my left hand, because it will buff um, uh, Gravity Magic. I'm not using it here, because again, I'm trying out the uh, Spiral uh, Magic, which is doing great damage against this uh, Falling Star Beast. Uh, but yeah, if I were to use the, uh, the Gravity Magic, like Boulder Throw or something, in my right hand, then I could get the um, the buff onto my or from my left hand, and still wearing the uh, the noble outfit. I really like that one for her. All right, trying to collect the um, the bell bearings as much as I can. And then I see an enemy here. <laughs> the uh, spiral shot's a little bit too wide. Uh, to get through these uh, doorways easily, so. Okay, there goes that guy. <laughs> for larger bosses, larger enemies, I like this uh, spiral shard uh, for guys that dodge a lot. I've moved away from, like, the homing shot, and I've moved towards the other uh, knight. Um sorceries, which I'll use here. I don't know if this guy dodges or not, but we'll use it anyway. Uh, but this is the, uh, the Lake of Rot. And uh, some nice um, items here, like the, uh, the cookbook to uh, create the, uh, the rot pots and stuff. <laughs> Alright, got rid of him. And then I picked up the, uh, the mushroom set from the cave. This definitely goes against the Asadu uh, cosplay, but I needed it for the uh, the rot resistance. Okay, and then to continue Ronnie's storyline, let's go against uh, Astel, deep, deep underground. All right, we'll summon the shield guys again. Uh, this time I have the uh, the Carrion uh, Noble Scepter or Royal Scepter. This is the one that I got from um, Lenara's Remembrance kind of the boss weapon. My intelligence is 60 now, so I can use that. Uh, left hand, we'll use the uh, meteorite staff again to buff the uh, boulder throw. And I'll actually use that uh, this fight. I looked at the resistances of this boss and uh, immune to all elements, so I decided to go for physical with the, uh, the meteor, or the boulder throw. And then I can stagger him apparently. Uh, I forgot to equip a sword, though, or I chose to not equip a sword. So I could have gotten the uh, critical hit here, but whatever. <laughs> but my uh, roll weight 
was just so that if I put the sword kind of as like a backup weapon, I would be slow rolling. So I got rid of it. And uh, the reason why my uh, roll was slow was because I'm wearing kind of heavy uh, items. I have uh, Renara's hat for the uh, intelligence up. I have the, I think it's the Azure robe, just for general looks cool factor. <laughs> Oh, also good uh, magic resistance against this boss. And then I think I'm wearing Radon's legs just for uh, overall damage. You can't see them, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, to get through uh, Selen's quest, I had to find the uh, the two kind of um, exiled sorcerers. And then I got their uh, costume sets, so yeah. Pretty cool. And I was wondering if my shield guys were going to draw aggro. Uh, but it turns out that they have kind of a ranged attack with, like, throwing pots or something. So, yeah, they're doing a good job drawing the other uh, boss. And great damage on this boss. So, yeah, I'm not having a lot of trouble at all. <laughs> all right, there he goes. Uh, there's another version of this boss who will give me a uh, magic spell. So, I look forward to uh, fighting him again. Uh, but these uh, runes here, these souls, I'll use these to raise my HP, finally. I'll go from, like, level 25 to level 28 on the um, vitality, so, yeah, a little bit more HP. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.